Hi there and thank you for entering the RPRA National Awards for 2021. This is just a quick demonstration on how to fill out the application forms for the various categories. For your pigeon to be eligible for the short distance RPRA National Awards, there are five criteria that your bird must meet. Number one, your entry must have flown in at least five races between the distances of 65 miles to 250 miles and all five races will count to the final score. Number two, no race below 65 miles will be accepted and any that are will be disqualified. Number three, entries will only be accepted if the race housed over 150 pigeons in that race. Again, anything under 150 pigeons will not be accepted. Number four, entries with um, a race of birdage over 5,000 birds will be rounded down to 5,000 for coefficient calculations. This is just to bring it in line with national and international coefficient calculations. Number five, entries must have a minimum of 10 competing loft per race to qualify. Once again, anything below 10 competing lofts will not be accepted. If your club does not have 10 competing lofts or does not have over 150 pigeons, we suggest you use Federation, Combine, Amalgamation or National Races for this calculation. Okay, I'm just going to run through how to fill in the online application form for the RPRA National Awards. Uh, as you can see here, I pulled up the uh, Young Bird All-Round Performance, the Mazzarella Trophy, uh, and my category is in front of me. So I just need to make sure that my bird has uh, fulfilled all of those categories. I just check that before you do this, the form. Um, and if it meets all those categories, that's absolutely fine. We can continue. Uh, the first thing I want to bring you up uh, or mark you upon is the required star as you can see it's a little red star with uh, on this one it says required what that means is anywhere where you can see that star which you can see next to the email here um, you need to fill in that field if the star's not there which it's not too many fields on this on this uh, application form uh, you don't need to fill it in but if it is there you need to fill it in and it won't allow you to continue to the next section unless that has been filled in um, I'll do a demonstration of uh, if I don't fill in that field, what it shows you, uh, and a few other mistakes if you make them, how it will not allow you to go forward until it's done correctly. So that's uh, just a little bit of a, a note that if you see the red star, please fill that field in. So first of all, I'm going to start with my um, my email. So I'll put my uh, RPRA email in there. Let's check that I've done it correct, which I have. Then I'm just going to scroll down. Now I'm going to put the next section is I'm going to put the ring number of the pigeon uh, that I want this uh, award entry for. So I'm going to say, because it's a young bird, it's GB21N12343. Okay, that's absolutely fine. You can put it in any format you want. I've put spaces in. You can put it in short. It makes no difference. You can even put it in lowercase if you want to. It makes no difference. Just presentation, however you want that to work. Next, uh, it will ask you for your region. So you just select uh, the drop down and all the regions are on there. So you just select the region that you are from. Uh, so I am the West Midlands region and I've put my loft number down. So that's there. And then I move on again to my address, which is number 12, the street. Uh, put your full address down. So that's Canuck in staffs and the postcode as well. Okay, uh, and then at this point, uh, I'm going to do an, uh, a deliberate mistake. Um, I put my phone number, but I'm going to say that I haven't put my phone number down. I've missed that field for whatever reason. If I click on next now, it will not let me go to the next stage. As you can see, um, it will say required. Uh, this is a required question. So it will not let me move on until I put my correct number. So I will put my phone number down. Okay. Um, that number's down and then I click next. As you can see, because I've done it right, it allows me to move on to section two now. 
Now this is uh, the sheet for the first race, as you can see, it's asking me for my first race details. So it's really simple. I'm just gonna put down the results of the Pigeons, uh, race one of the Pigeon uh, achieved for its application. Uh, Again, you can see those red stars, so just remember what we said about those. Uh, the one thing that I am going to point up is when you put the date of the race, um, as you can see, uh, it's in the American style. Uh, unfortunately, we can get you the way on this form this time. So you need to put the month first. Uh, so what we need to just be aware that you've done that. So it's the sixth month of the fourth day, and it's in 2021. Okay, it's not a problem. Uh, for that so just make sure that that's checked and I'll show you later how you can go back and check the form if you think that you've not done that correct uh, next question again really simple it's all drop down um, a lot of this is so we just click which direction the pigeon flew so I says I'm going to fly from Guernsey to the West Midlands that would be South Road if you was flying from uh, London to Wales for example uh, you put east to west if you was flying from Cornwall to London you go west and if you're flying from Scotland to to England, for example, you go north. So I'm gonna say it was South Road, and then I'm gonna put my direction. Um, so my direction for this one is, uh, so my distance for this one is 123 miles. Please put the word miles in there for this uh, and yards, and I'm gonna say it was 12 yards, okay? This one, just write them in for me. That'd be absolutely brilliant. Uh, however, on the next one, if you came first, for example, I don't want you to write first like I've just done. If you could just put the number one or whatever position you've come, uh, that'd be great. So if I came fifth, I'd just put five. If I come tenth, I'd just put 10. So I'm gonna say that I came third on this one. Uh, so I'll put the number three. Uh, and again, the number of birds on this one, I'm gonna say it was 1,000. 500. Remember, just uh, as a note, you need to enter the result uh, that has uh, less than no no result less than 150 birds, and I can just check that on this one here, which it says here entries will only be accepted for 150 rings. Now it will allow you to enter uh, a result of less, but obviously we'll be disqualifying any birds that have a less than 150. So if you was to enter 25 birds, for example, it will allow you to submit it, but when we do the check, well, that pigeon will be thrown out. So please make sure that you enter the correct amount of birds. Uh, again, we advise that you use a federation result um, or a combine or a national result if your club does not have over 150 birds in there. Uh, next one, again, for same again for race one, we're asking for the club, federation or national where that is. Um, Again, whatever you've entered here, if you'd entered a club position, so it was 150 birds, I'd put the club. If I'd entered a federation position, I'd put the fed. If I'd entered a national position or a combine, which potentially could be that number, then obviously uh, you'd enter the the, uh, the federation, uh, sorry, the national combine, whatever it is. I'm gonna say that the 1,500 birds was entered in the Wolverhampton Federation. And again, that just means that if you do get a prize, uh, or we will do random checks on all entries as well. Um, so we might take position 25 in the in the order of, of the coefficient results, then we can contact those organizations uh, on your behalf uh, to just see if the results that was entered has been correct. And we will do random checks on that. So just enter the federation on there. Okay, again, if you don't enter the correct number, or you don't fill in the field, it won't allow you to move on until that field has been filled. Okay, uh, I just repeat the process for field, for race two. So this is race two details. So I'll just do that really quickly. Same process as I've done before. This is how quick it can be. Yards there, and position was number three. Birds in the race for race number two. I'm going to say was 1,000. I'll change it 1,700 on that one. Uh, and again, this time, in fact, I'll say it's 170 because this time it was a club position, um, which is the West Bromwich Club. Okay, absolutely fine. Uh, we move on to next. If if just just move on to this one. If you do put the date and the month the wrong way round, which let's just do that for now. Let's say I wanted to race on the 31st, and then I try and press submit, you'll notice it won't allow you to move on. 
and it'll take you back. It'll say invalid date. So that's another way that you can check. So we just change that round and put the correct one in. Again, we've made it so it's 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 really difficult not to fill it in correctly. Um, so we've gone next, and then obviously this is asking me for three races, which is not a problem. So we'll put the details of, again, I've done that wrong, which is not a problem. We'll put the details in um, of the third race. Distance this time, we'll say it's 200 miles, and it's uh, naught yards. It's fine. Uh, position taken into race three, we'll say it came third. We'll say that there was 1,600 pigeons in this one. And again, that was with the Wolverhampton fed. Okay, absolutely fine. Click next, and it then brings you to this page. Now, this page is, is really important. This is, in effect, your signature. And as you can see, it's just asking you to confirm that the application meets to RPRA rules, which means that the pigeon was registered in your loft number that you've submitted when you raced in that race, and that all uh, RPRA rules have been followed during the races, which obviously, uh, to get to this stage, I'll be hoping that everyone's is. Um, if at this stage you just wanted to check that, because uh, it also says that you understand that secretaries are maybe contacted uh, to confirm results which we'll do randomly and also for all the winners but if you think uh, you're not sure and you may have entered into something correct it's not a problem at all you have two problem you have two ways you can do that you can clear the floor and start again or you can just click back and back will just take you back to any page that you filled out and you can change anything at any stage so for example if I thought oh I've put three but actually it came fifth I can change that number there and then I can go to bring it back to next and it will take me through. So this is my navigation bar. I can go back right the way to the first page if I want to, which is just here, where if I really wanted to, I could change my email if I put that in incorrect, any details here at all, and then to go forward. So I've checked all my details. I'm happy that everything is correct. I'm happy that all the fields have been filled out the best uh, the best that I can do, and that I confirm. Now, if you wanted to submit this without confirming, it won't let you. You have to click yes, because in effect, by you clicking yes, that is your signature to say yes, that the forms are correct, everything's right, and everything is in order. When you press collect, uh, click yes, you then press submit, and you'll be received saying, congratulations, you've been uh, entered into the category that you've selected, and on that, you then should receive an email to the email that you put in. Now, if I go to my emails now and I refresh, I'm hoping, yeah, it's just there. As you can see in black, that I have received an email from the RPRA. I click allow because some of the items have been blocked. Um, that I've been entered into the, uh, that I filled out the uh, national awards. This was the test one for, for demonstration purposes, but you'll be filling out the proper one. Uh, I've done it and this, a list of all your answers are there in front of you. Um, I recommend that you keep that. Just, you know, if there's any questions, you've got evidence that you've submitted it, and that's not a problem, uh, and it's all there. Um, at this stage, if you do notice there is a problem, then all you need to do is you just need to reply uh, to my, you just need to reply to me at richardchambers at rpi.org, which is that there. You can see me highlighting it and zoomed in. If you just send me an email saying that you've filled it in incorrect and submitted, then I can take that off the form and you can then resubmit, and that's not an issue at all. It's just left for me to say thank you very much for entering this year's RPRA National Awards, uh, and good luck. Uh, all results will be published in the British Homing World in uh, end of November, and they will also be on our website at rpra.org.